Hello, true believers. We're back with another installment of Lick of the Week. So glad you guys have been so supportive of this. I really appreciate all the positive feedback and the views and the sharing and stuff that you guys have been doing. Uh, Commander Cody's behind the wheel here at uh, Starship Shredalicious, and uh, we're bringing you another one here in E minor. Uh, but before we get started on the lick breakdown, I want to take a rare moment to like talk about something I'm really digging. And if any of you really know me on a personal level, you know I embrace being the grumpy old guy. And I love to hate on everything. So it's very rare that I feel like talking about anything I like. Diodario's come out with this new NS Mini tuner. And um, I actually saw it online and I asked Jacob here at our guitar department to everything music if he'd mind bringing in one and he brought in two and it wound up being so cool I wound up buying both of them um, it's nice it's out of the way it's adjustable it'll fit any headstock uh, they're inexpensive they cost right around 15 bucks guys so um, yeah it, please come by the store and check this thing out and now uh, we're gonna get to this lick Okay, so what we're dealing with here in today's lick of the week is a bit of outlining an E minor 7 chord, and we're going to be borrowing some tones from um, an A dominant chord to give us a E Dorian sound, and we're going to be borrowing uh, a note or two from maybe harmonic minor or melodic minor, depending on the way you're looking at it. So these are all extensions of a minor 7 chord, some of my favorite things to play over real dark and moody so you've got a minor chord one flat three five with your flatted seven so we're jumping right in here on the root note e 14th fret of the d string i'm going to hammer on the minor third at 17. then i'm coming down to the perfect fifth e on the g string at 16 and then i'm running into the flat seven d and hammering on the e at 17 on the b string now I'm taking that up to the G, the minor third, and I'm capping that off with the perfect fifth B. So that whole pattern. And then I'm topping it off with my uh, tapped high E note at the 22nd fret. Now I do a double tap here from 24th, I'm sorry, high E, to 22nd. So if you don't have a 24th fret, just go right to that. And then I'm borrowing the natural seven, a little bit of that harmonic minor, melodic minor. And then I'm going to move and drop this uh, E minor seven concept down again to the next octave. And I'm going to borrow that natural six from Dorian, which would be the third in implying a uh, dominant four chord. And I go back and snag that A. Little vibrato. And then we're going to ascend a triad that spells out the minor seven chord. One flat, three flat, seven. You might recognize that from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Right? So I'm going to slide that into the next E. And then slide into another E. And then a little minor blues bend here, a little quarter step bend. And I'm going to reach back and grab this D at 15 on the B, and I'm going to double pump this bin. And that's the whole lick. Enjoy the lick.